I'm Vicki. Welcome to Make Life Special and another visit in Vicki's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share one of my favorite cheese appetizer recipes with you for my praline topped brie. Now I want to talk just a few minutes about brie cheese. It is always sold in a round like this. This is an 8 ounce size. Um, it also will come in a larger round which is usually about 13 ounces. And I want to show you how it's packaged. And we just want to unwrap the brie. So I want you to see. It does have a rind covering all sides of it, top and bottom. Now for this particular recipe, I'm going to gently slice off the top rind and I'm going to leave the sides and the bottom rind intact because we're going to bake this brie. And if I were to cut all of the rind off and bake it, the brie would just run all over the dish. We want to keep it intact, so we're going to leave the sides and the bottom on. Now, if I were serving this just on a cheese tray, my personal preference with brie is to remove the rind. But the rind is actually edible and some people really do enjoy that. Uh, so if I were going to serve this on a cheese tray, I would cut it in half and I would cut the rind off of half of it and slice it in little wedges and then leave the remaining part with the rind on. But today, again, I'm just going to gently remove the top rind and put it in the baking dish. So the other ingredients for the praline topped brie will be a third a cup of chopped pecans and I want to toast those. So right now I'm going to go ahead and pour about a third a cup into the baking dish and I'm going to pop these in a 350 degree oven for just a few minutes just to lightly now toast them. Now I'm just going to remove the top rind from the brie round. You can see how it just has a very mild yellow creamy color underneath this white rind. And I just want to remove the rind off of the top of the brie. And well actually after we bake this we'll be able just to scoop this out. It's really a wonderful appetizer to serve. And we'll be back in just a minute and I'll show you how we'll do the topping. Now I'm, I'm going to put the round of brie into a 9 inch baking dish just like that and I want to go ahead and assemble the praline topping which is one half a cup of orange marmalade and two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. I'm going to give this a quick stir and place this on top of the brie. Now this is actually enough topping to top a larger round of brie. This, this amount would top a 13 ounce round of brie as well. So just feel free to substitute either size. Okay, and this is what the topping looks like. I'm going to go ahead and spoon the praline topping which is the mar orange marmalade and the dark brown sugar on top of this round of brie and then I'm going to sprinkle the lightly toasted pecan chips on top of this and we're going to pop this in a 350 degree oven and let it bake for about 15 minutes and it's just going to be so warm and gooey. You know the brie has a very savory taste to me. I love warm brie cheese. Just spread this on crackers or on uh, bread slices is wonderful, little cocktail slices of bread, but um, the combination of the savory brie cheese with this delicious praline topping is just really over the top. Now this is what it looks like and you can see this is just going to be a very impressive appetizer and it really only has four ingredients you can put it together in less than five minutes, pop it in the oven, and then we'll have this wonderful praline topped brie to enjoy. I've just taken our praline topped brie out of the oven and you can see how wonderful and gooey it is with the savory brie cheese and then our sweet praline topping on it. I'm going to just remove it from the baking dish and put it on my serving. Tray. And I'm just going to lift this out of the baking dish and to accomplish this I'm going to use two spatulas because the brie is very very soft. Place it on our serving dish 
And to serve this, I'm going to surround it with crackers today. You could also surround it with um, pieces of bread. would be really, really delicious too. Now these are wheat crackers, and I thought that would um, really complement the savory sweet taste of the appetizer. And I'm going to garnish it with just a little bit of um, fresh parsley just to add some green color to the serving plate. And again, I think, you know, we, we eat with a lot of our senses. It's not just taste. It's smell and it's also sight. And so that's why I think it's important to um, remember to add some color and uh, make things look very attractive when you serve them as well. And then I'll just put my little server on there. And there you have it, our praline topped brie.